Hello guys, Dr. Hasbullah here and we are going to continue where we left off before and we're going to continue finishing the lamina boundary condition velocity profile. So if you use this equation, right? If we use this equation, then the resultant velocity profile is this term. Okay, but what will happen if we use the polynomial of third order okay of course you're gonna get different equation and i'm gonna prove it to you now all right so what happens here is that remember we have used this one this one and this one for the second order polynomial but for the third order we're gonna also add this one right so now let's just recycle this bit here but now we're gonna try to solve the uh, polynomial of third order now at y0 u equal to zero so obviously this is 0 at y0, so a plus b y is 0 plus c y is 0 square plus d y is 0 cube. So obviously a is still 0. Alright, so the next relationship is here. Okay, at y over del u equal to infinity, so u over u infinity equal to 1, that is equal to a is 0 b times del plus c del square plus d del cube okay the third relationship this is uh, so of course you have to differentiate first all right so du over dy is equal to u infinity b plus 2 c y plus d plus 3 dy square okay and at y equal to del du over dy equal to 0 so this is 0 at y equal to del so this is b plus 2 c del plus 3 d square del right and finally we're going to use this one so at y equal to 0 d square u over dy square equal to 0 so i'm going to differentiate this again so d square u over dy square is equal to u infinity b is now gone so 2c plus 6 d y okay i think i may have made a mistake here all right because i read i write this too closely so this is actually d y square and this is d del square right so now this becomes 6 d y okay so at y zero this becomes zero so zero equal to u infinity 2 c plus 6d times 0. Now, obviously, c is also 0. So, now we have a equal to 0 and c equal to 0. So, we only left with b and d. Let's see where is our equation. Okay, now this is one equation, right? So, this becomes equation 1 and this becomes equation 2. Okay, so I'm going to write it again. Our equation 1 is so that you get you don't get confused so this is b del plus c del square plus d del cube but we agree that c is zero right so that's easy for us so b del plus d del cube equal to zero sorry this is equal to one Okay, and our second equation is B plus 2C, again, C is 0, plus 3D del square equal to 0. The easiest way to do this, I think we're going to take equation 2 to becomes B equal to minus 3D del square. And we're going to put it into equation number 1. So that is uh, so that is 3D. 
sorry so b is minus 3 d del square times del plus d del cube equal to 1 right so this is minus 3 plus 1 so the minus 2 d del cube equal to 1 d is now simply minus 1 over 2 del cube all right and we're gonna put this again here and then b is equal to minus 3 minus 1 over 2 del cube times del square so easily b is now 3 over 2 del okay 3 over 2 del right so now you have your d and you have your b okay and we know that a is 0 and c is 0 let's just rewrite the equation so that's going to be u over u infinity equal to a is 0. So b, this is 3 over 2 y over del plus c is, uh, sorry, c is 0 and d is minus. So this, this is going to be minus 1 over 2 y over del cube. Okay, and this is your final equation for third order polynomial right so when you have the third order polynomial your line here can also be right u over u infinity is also equal to 3 over 2 y over del y over del minus 1 over 2 y over del cube. 1 over 2 y over del cube. Okay. Now, obviously, the velocity profile could be one of these two equations. Remember, unless we do the experiment, we wouldn't know exactly what is the profile. What we are doing now is that we are trying to estimate this profile using polynomial of second order and polynomial of third order all right and later in turbulent we're gonna use what we call a power law because for turbulent the slope is large so we cannot really fit that equation into second order polynomial or third order polynomial so we're gonna use something that is called power law but that is a discussion for another video uh, i do hope that you enjoy this video so uh, like i told you earlier uh, go through this once and try to focus and try to understand everything and then you go through it for the second time whenever that you do not understand pause the video take the time and put in the comment section and ask me the question if the question is simple to answer, then I'll just reply to your comments. If it's not, then I may make a separate video to discuss about it. So, uh, happy learning and stay safe. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Um.